Good to be All with right. you. Former New York congressman and gubernatorial candidate, the closest there was to a Republican in a long time, Lee Zeldin joins me now. Sir, appreciate you coming in. This border crisis, New York is like kind of ground zero for the I told you so speech. Yeah, it's come to a city near you. As uh, Jason was just saying, here in New York, the shelters, health care, education, uh, so much is being overrun. So now the Democratic mayor of New York City is talking about how this is going to destroy New York City. Man, this was by design. President Biden came into office. This was not negligence. This isn't incompetence or recklessness. By design on day one, stop construction of the border wall, ramp up catch and release, get rid of Remain in Mexico, get rid of Title 42, attack the Customs and Border Patrol agents. This result is one that we've been saying from the very beginning is a certainty this is going to create a crisis. And you have sanctuary cities and sanctuary states on top of it that end up multiplying this. So here in New York right now, we have a big mess on our hands, it's, and it's all created by design of the Democrats. They've implemented policies to create this mess by design. Yeah, but now they're whining because they, they got too much dose of their own medicine. But, uh, it, look, this is uh, obviously the border is a complete mess. And just today, though, House Speaker Mike Johnson pressed Biden to do some executive action to fix it. But the, my problem with this is they sold the pieces of the fence on, like, a Canadian Craigslist. So we don't have those anymore. They've been tearing down borders that Texas has put up. And on top of all that, they're telling everybody that the problem is fixed. Well, and uh, even in their own party, I mean, Pritzker, governor in Illinois, Democratic governor, wrote a letter to Biden a few weeks ago. In the middle of the letter, he said, hey, you should have someone in your administration be, be like, in charge of this. You, know, you have a secretary. Wait, hold on a sec. Really? Yeah, look at Pritzker's letter right in the middle of it. There's a paragraph. <laughs> where he's calling on Biden to appoint somebody to like be in Kamala. charge of this. So Kamala, as the borders are, she won't go down there. Secretary of uh, Homeland Security Mayorkas is saying mm -hmm. that everything is is just secure. We're lacking the leadership. But if you're looking for what to do, quite frankly, you should reverse what you've done. Right. And and you just ramp up construction of the border wall, and you end catch and release, and you bring back remain in Mexico. Uh, you should go to the border. The president of the United States should be willing to go down to the border and have those conversations with the people on the ground and say, what do you need? And they give them whatever resources yeah. they need to be able to do their job. But this administration, from the top, they have the power to secure this border, and they just are filled with a whole lot of excuses as to why it's not getting done. And when they try to spin job the entire country mm -hmm. that it, it is secure, when we see the images, we see the numbers, but Jay Johnson... In the Obama administration, he was talking about like over 1,000 or 2,500. Yeah. That would be chaos. Right. And now we're seeing day after day after day over 10,000 in one week. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, it's too much. I, I want to get back just, you know, on the New York thing, though, which loves to make Trump the poster boy for you know, basically pure evil. Now, Governor Kathy Hochul, who you know pretty well, thinks it's a smart move to make New York, which is widely known to be you know, safe as for uh, in a slave state, big part of the Underground Railroad. It was a free state. It was not part of the South. It did not condone slavery. But now they want to talk about reparations for people. I'm like, this state is going bankrupt. Oh, my gosh. Tell me about it. And they're, they want to divide people. And yeah. This isn't about bringing everybody together. In, in some classroom, there's a, you know, and I don't see color, you don't see color, but inside of classrooms, that, you know, there's some fourth graders, there's a, maybe a black student, an Asian student, a Hispanic student, a white student, and, and somehow a lesson should be taught that everyone who's sitting in that room who's not black, like, owes the black student an apology. Those kids don't see each other's color. Until they ram it down their throat. Right, it, until the indoctrination and the brainwashing of how you are supposed to think. How about you take a step back and let these kids educate you on how you're supposed to think? There's a way to be able to unite our state, a way to be able to unite our country. And this particular debate, this, role, this road that they want to go down, is meant to divide. It is not meant to heal. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's one that, unfortunately, as we saw it in 2020, and the BLM riots picked up, if there's an election coming up, and obviously a big one coming up mm -hmm. November 2024, I would not be surprised if over the course of 24, as that election gets closer, you're going to see more ta uh, tactics, more rhetoric, more yep. policies actually meant to divide the population rather than bring them together. Yeah, well, I think people are starting to wise up. Congressman Lee Zeldin, yes, pleasure. Sir. Appreciate you Great coming Great seeing in. you.